What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Derek Strickland, aka the FBA Book Boss. Hey guys, do I have a treat for you? O M G! <laughs> wow, do we have a treat for you all? Listen, we've been doing these spotlight videos for the um, No Excuses Business Growth Summit that's coming up January twelfth, the weekend of January twelfth, two thousand eighteen, and these interviews have truly been phenomenal. And guys, listen. We have a powerhouse that's getting ready to uh, come on with us right now. And um, wow, as the title says, you know, a lot of you all have seen this young lady's um, glory, but you really don't know the story, right? So we want to get the story from her on this hangout, this spotlight hangout. So guys, listen up. Um, there might be a slight chance. I'm not for sure how long she has, but there may be a slight chance to actually get a couple of questions uh, answered, but guys, you things, all right? You you got to be able to do these three things, right? Before we start, just start spilling all the beans, all right? I need you, to, first of all, I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video. And then if you want more information on the event, I need you to go ahead and put no excuses in the comment section. All right, this young lady hails from the city of mm -hmm. Seattle, all the way out on the West Coast. And man, when I say hashtag lead generation, hashtag social um, um, social media um, um, specialist, hashtag online branding, hashtag thousand dollar days, hashtag grow your team in thirty days, hashtag blogging <laughs> whole to the top. Ha Do I need to keep going? Because I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh. Hashtag Facebook Live Queen. Hashtag giving you value every day. Hashtag <laughs> consistency. Hashtag making it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring right to the stage this young lady. Oh my God, has changed my life in so many different ways. Truly, I love her. My wife loves her. And she's, she's a household name. And you definitely, oh, you. definitely want to hang on to every word that she says, all right? I'm going to tell you a quick lesson that my friend Nicole Cooper taught me. She said, Derek, anytime you get on the phone with a six-figure earner, grab your pad and pen, right? Because you all can be listening to this and you 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 saying, yeah, I can go back and rewatch it, but sometimes... She's going to say something that triggers something in your mind. And you need to transfer that from your mind to the paper because you may hear it and you might not ever get that thought back. All right? So um, go ahead, grab your pens and paper, start sharing this thing out. Listen, I'm not even going to invite her to say anything. I need to, I need to see some shares. I need to see some more <laughs> likes. Right? I need to see this happen right now. She deserves all of the hearts, all of the thumbs up, everything. All right? This young lady is incredible. And guys, uh -huh. if you want to see her life, if you want to see her like piercing to your soul, <laughs> you, you want to see her look you in your eye, in your eye socket, <laughs> and pierce it to your soul, <laughs> tell you exactly what you need to do to go to the next level, you got to be at this event, all right? You got to be there. Like the video, share this video, and comment no excuses in the comment section. Listen, I've done some more, um, I've done some other uh, videos, and one video got like maybe 500 views. Like this video right here should be like 10 times that, like for real, for real. Y'all need to start <laughs> sharing this video. I'm serious. She deserves all of that. And listen, Keisha, I told the people, they see your glory, but do they really know <laughs> your story? Mm -hmm. Welcome to my Spotlight interview. Miss Keisha Bass, aka Millionaire in Stilettos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, what's up, Derek? Okay, what's, what's up, up? Ricklin? <laughs> How you doing? Excited to be here. I'm good. Great. I'm really good. So excited to be good. here. Excited about you know broadcasts and everything. You guys definitely be sharing this out. Okay, share this out because um what you know what my team my, my friends i should say not team or my friends over there you know no excuses land <laughs> they got some good stuff going on i'm super excited about being a part you know i'm honored i'm so honored to be a part of what you guys yeah. are doing so 
Now, Keisha, now we know like you, you know, you got things popping, pun intended, Pop Academy. <laughs> um, yeah. We you know that you, you know, you're doing some things over there, great thousand dollar days, you mm -hmm. know, you got that going on. Uh, we definitely know you know what you're doing on Facebook, but tell everybody how you actually got started. Awesome. So I got started in, in network marketing back in 2008. Okay. And I'm um, getting ready to come up on, looks like my 10 year actually. So ooh, getting ready to come up my 10 year. Um, I got started in network marketing in 2008. I, you know, was six months pregnant and my brother came over to the house and he said, listen, listen, sis, you know, I found a way, you know, um, and I got started, you know, in, in the network marketing industry, I just, you know, I, be I believe I drank all the Kool-Aid. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, I drank the Kool-Aid. I was going to get rich. You know, I just had to go get a few people. It seemed so simple, you know, sitting at the table, you know, talking to him. It seemed like, yeah, that's easy to do, right? Go get two people and then they go get two people, you know, and it, it was, it seemed very, very easy. Um, and so, um, so I, you know, got started and I realized really, really quick, that it wasn't as simple, you know, or easy, I should say easy, because it's a simple business model, but, um, but it's really set up to find out who's really, you know, who's going to do it and who's not. And I just realized the way that they wanted me to do it, it just didn't fit my personality style and it didn't fit my lifestyle, quite honestly. So, so that was really how I really got started. And I, and I, at some point I realized like, this was just really dumb. Right. OK, it was like you know, all this, you know, setting up for these meetings and stuff like that going there. I mean, it works for some people. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It definitely works for some people. It just didn't work for me. And my technical background would not allow me to continue to do something every single week that just I saw it wasn't working for us. Right. So that's how I got to the Internet. And I just dug in and started learning, found some mentors, you know, like the one you mentioned earlier, Nicole Cooper. I found her, Tracy Walker. And you know what? Derek, when I say, if I can find the evidence, you know, I tell this to my team now, if I can find the evidence that somebody else did it, I can do it too, right? And that's what really happened to me. So, you know, I'm years later now, you know, I still struggle. Once I learned that, I learned I needed some skill set and stuff. But, um, yeah, now it's, you know, I get to sit at home and do interviews. And um, I was just watching some stuff and writing out some stuff about, you know, I just, I actually just got a call, off a call with my amazing tax chick. Okay. <laughs> Who's in the comments or whatever. And, um, and realized that I just, um, I'm getting ready to send out my first um, W9. I think she said like somebody, I have to pay over $600 to an affiliate in my pop Academy. So I'm now yeah. paying affiliates, sending out W9 and stuff. So it's just, it's just awesome. So, <laughs> so welcome. Thanks. I hope that was a, yeah. So that's the short story. So now a lot of people think, you know, you probably guess, you know, like you said, you started in 2008. And mm. also I guess, man, I'm quoting Nicole Cooper a lot, but she, she, I know she got it from someone else, but she said, um, uh, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. Right. Right. So we, I, I started in 2008. And I'm getting excited just thinking about just that quote right there. But um, a lot of people look at look at people like yourself that have a lot of success online and just think that, you know, you signed up with a business and it had all of the trimmings in it. Like you came, you had the car, the car bonus came with your package, with your, <laughs> <laughs> with your membership and whatnot. You know, uh, speak to, to the point of, um, now I don't know exactly what you plan on uh, sharing at the event, but speak mm -hmm. to, like launching a business, like getting it going. And um, I guess it would be from the affiliate point because I know you are, um, that's your strong point, affiliate marketing. And right. uh, just launching it and just getting the word out. Mm -hmm. um, so I, that's what I will be sharing. So when I come to, um, to Texas, I am going to be sharing my formula for the powerful online presence because that's what I really, you know, I don't care what you're building, even if you're doing um, e-commerce, Derek. Um, you want to, if you want, if you want to have multiple streams of income, then do it and not have yourself spread out all, all over the place, but do it. So it makes sense. Right. So if you have uh, if you're in e-commerce and you have a product, then that product is a brand. You know, if you really want to, if you really want to go big, then your, your business, your e-commerce business, you want to move from just being an Amazon seller to now having a brand. OK, and so it, it, it works the same. It's the same thing. You know, I mean, you look at I know one of the speakers that's coming that you guys definitely want to come and hear about. Well, this dude is an Amazon seller, but he's a brand. 
he is a well-known brand, right? And so, yes. you know, you would have to move out of being, you know, just storefronts, right? Where we just selling a few products here and there to now creating empires, which is what, you know, that's what I'm all about. I told y'all years ago, Keisha Bass is here to build an empire and stuff. And so, um, so yeah, so I think that's, so yeah, we're going to, you're going to learn about really branding yourself. And, you know, even if something should happen to your e-commerce account, which many, I know mine has gotten shut down before. I don't want to tell y'all no lie. Right. But because I create, I have a brand, a Keisha Bass enterprise, and there's things under that brand, there's things under that business model that, you know, I mean, you know, it's like, I'm talking to my tax chick a lot these days, okay? <laughs> so. I hear you. Now, um, Keith, like Keith, you said, there's going to be some people at this event that's going to absolutely blow your mind. Mm -hmm. um, one of the person I believe she's talking about is Mr. Dana Derricks. Um, Dana Derricks is going to be at this event. And like I said on one of the other videos, Keisha, I didn't realize that I already knew Dana. Um, I always remember seeing that little logo with the little copyright guy in the front, in the uh, last coat. Never knew that was him, but uh, great marketers are always there all the time. It's almost like being Savoir Faire is everywhere, <laughs> you know? Right. So you got to be like that. And um, another person that we got um, just recently um, decided they were, they were going to come on. Now, a lot of people know me as the book boss because I do a lot of volume, did a lot of volume in books. And this gentleman actually does over a million dollars in books. His name is Mr. Greg Murphy. He's going to actually be at the event um, along with our friend, Mr. Jock T. Morris, which just got done with an interview with Nicole Whitlock. He's going to be at the event. And um, guys, it's just a whole lot of things. Um, Nikki and Paris has really uh, took this event to another level. Now, you all know that we do a lot when it comes down to e-commerce, but there's no excuses business growth summit. It's not just about e-commerce. This is for your total business. All right, your total business. We have people at this event that's going to talk about how to how to grow your money. Like, let your money go out there and work for you. We have people that's going to talk about that. We have people that's going to talk about a guess a wide range of uh, topics that you need to grow your business in 2018. So, Keisha, let me ask you this question. Now, mm -hmm. you have been on some of the biggest stages. Now, I ain't just talking about sitting out there in the in the crowd. I ain't even talking about <laughs> just see, like MLSP. Like you ain't gonna get too much bigger than that in our industry, right? You got some old mm -hmm. stuff that's out there pretty big, but walking out on stage in front of that crowd at MLSP, well, take take me take me through that mm -hmm. experience. What's going on in your mind? How are you feeling? What talk to me? Well, I would have to take you back to before the stage, okay? So before I um, was on the stage, and I'll tell you guys, I my mentors were a part of MLSP before I was, okay? And so let me give you guys, you know, and maybe I think that in order to be an entrepreneur, there's a little bit of crazy that you must possess, okay? So let me tell you what happened. I saw this picture of a retreat that MLSP leaders had gone on, okay? And so I saw the picture and I started to imagine, so where one of my mentors was, I started to imagine myself on the leadership retreat Right. So I began to see myself in the frame. Oh, my God. You guys hope you wrote that down. OK, I began to see myself in the frame. OK, hold in on, that hold picture. On, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, hold on. Y'all got to like this video, share this video before she even goes further. Because I feel like she's about to drop like something that's going to make you. <laughs> hold your on. Hair gonna stand don't up. Like your hair's going to stand up on your head. Right. <laughs> on your don't arm. do it like that. Like this video, share this video. I'm sorry, Keith. I had to do it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it's totally fine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you gotta see yourself in the frame. Exactly. Thank you. Hashtag see myself in the frame. So I saw myself on the leadership team before I was on the leadership team. Okay. Wow. I saw myself speaking on the stage before they asked me to speak on the stage. So before Brian Finale sent me a message and asked me about doing anything, okay, I had already started to, well, I was in the mirror, okay? And I actually was in the mirror and I could see myself speaking on stage, right? I could mm. see myself on the leadership 
retreat, right? Being invited to the leadership retreat. So I'll tell you, I believe, Derek, if I'm not mistaken, when I traveled to the No Excuses Summit um, last year, I believe it was last year, maybe it was two years ago at this point, it seemed like it's, uh, but I got an invite, I got an inbox, okay? And so um, I got an inbox from Brian Finale while I was traveling back from the event. And he said, hey, I sent you an email. I want you to check it out. Let me know, you know, your thoughts or what, let me know, right? And so I was like, oh my God, Brian Finale has sent me an email, right? <laughs> so, and so I went to the, e I went to my email, okay? I'm in the airport. And I, mm -hmm. and I, let me tell you how, let me tell you how crazy I am. I said, Brian, I said, uh, whatever you've emailed me about, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. <laughs> I didn't even know what he emailed me about. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know. Okay. I didn't even know what I, even, but see, here's what I did know. I knew that I had saw myself in the frame. Okay. I knew I'd already imagined myself being on the leadership team and being in a leadership position inside of that company. So I just went, when I got in, I just went to work. I went in, I went to work doing the activities that a, a top affiliate does in that particular system. Okay. Mm. Before anybody invited me to do anything, but I, I, but I was also imagining myself being in the leadership position, speaking on the stage and all that. I've spoken on their stage twice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for two years, I think two years, um, yeah, I've spoke on their stage. Right. And, uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm in the frame, right? I got to my email and guess what? He was inviting me to the master marketers team inside of Molly system pro. It's only two leadership. It's only two leadership groups in the whole company. Okay. And so he was inviting mm -hmm. me to be a part of the master marketers team, which means what not only was I on the marketers team, but also got access to write blogs for Molly system pro. I got access to do phone calls and stuff like that to get in front of Brian finale's whole company. Okay, wow. but now you got Brian Finale promoting you guys. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, you guys should be sharing this out, tagging your friends, tagging your people and letting them know mm -hmm. they need to get on here. Because if you don't get in front of the room in whatever you're doing, right, Ooh. I don't care what you're doing. If you don't get your butts into the front of the room. Okay, <laughs> right. I always teach people that then you are, it's, it's what are you doing? Right. What are you doing out here? Okay. So, so that's what, you know, that's what we, you know, you have to do. You have to imagine yourself, see yourself, you know, somewhere else. You know, I, I was talking about that this morning. If you're going to do this thing, you know, if this thing's going to work for you guys, you got to have some faith that is like just crazy at times. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> now, now that, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, like I can literally cut the live off right now. Like for real, for real. <laughs> Get to the front of the room. Hashtag get to the front of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Listen up. <clears throat> now, I want to do something that we haven't done on any of the other lives. I want to just open up and just for two lucky people, ask a question. You got Keisha Bass here. You definitely want to, if you got one question, I want to allow each person to have one question. And if you get something you always want to know about affiliate marketing or, or going to live events, uh, or whatever it is, you know, you know, like, how does she stay so awesome? You know, anything, <laughs> you know. I appreciate uh, you. One of my mentors actually just jumped in, actually. I just saw Cater. Cater, what's up? <laughs> okay. Cater, what's going on, bro? Okay, that's my guy yeah. right there. I love watching yeah, his videos. Yes, me too. Pound. See, you're a brand. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, you are... You are a brand, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. like people, you have to, um, that's just what, you know, you have to become the brand. And so I love Facebook and everything because it allowed me to become a TV show. Like I created, mm -hmm. I became a show. Like my whole family became a TV show, you know, on Facebook. Okay. And I learned it from my mentors. Like, listen, get it, you know, get out, get in front of the room and be who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the cool thing about it. I mean, like Dana Derricks, he's a goat farmer. Right. It's a goat farmer. Goat farmer. That's like the, a mass <laughs> copywriter, you know, an Amazon million dollar Amazon seller. But, you know, it is your own brand. You can be who you are out here on the Internet. Right. So, hey, Joy, what's up? <laughs> Joy Packard's in the house. She's so, guys, awesome. listen up. Yes, yes. She's going to also be 
at the event as one of the speakers, as well as Mrs. Um, Becky Tim. She's going to actually be there um, speaking. Listen, Keisha, Becky, um, Joy, Jock, these are NEOS members. I don't care what nobody else say. Oh, these yeah. are NEOS members. These are our, our sisters and our brothers. And uh, anytime we do something, they're always there for us. And we are so grateful for that. So it don't seem like I see any questions uh, right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just let you all know that the No Excuses event is going to be January, the weekend of January the 12th in Houston, Texas. Guys, as you all know, Houston um, bounces back phenomenal, all right? Um, a lot of people have some issues and thoughts about, you know, Hurricane Harvey and if they will be up and ready to go. Listen, this is these are World Series champions. <laughs> so they they ready to go. They're going to be able to take care of everything, and um, we're going to have a good time. So... If you want more information about this event, I need you to do three things. You all know what the three things, the three things are. Like this video, share this video, and comment, no excuses, in the comment section. And uh, we're going to get the um, event link over to you. And from that event link, you'll be able to purchase. Um, we got three different types of tickets, uh, all-star, uh, regular, and something else. Um, but everything is over there. You can actually go over there and actually book your hotel. Right? Let me tell you why you want to book your hotel. Because Paris and Nikki Witherspoon don't do anything halfway. All right? Mm -hmm. Like, when you go to your room, there's going to be some swag there. Like, swag for... Now, normally they have swag for presenters. You know, people that's speaking as a way to say thank you. No, not Nikki and Paris. They want everybody that buys a ticket to have something in their room as a special thank you from them. So you definitely want to book your hotel at the hotel that's on the site. All right? Then another bonus you're going to get is, because if you book the hotel, you may just come down in the lobby area and may bump into this little lady here, and she may just say something that just blow your mind, that just may add $10,000 to your to your monthly income, all right? A lot of people, Keisha, think that it's, it's everything. I know you say get to the front of the stage. I'm with that 100%. But there's also some things that happen out in the lobby. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Can you Absolutely. speak to that for a second? Yeah, you know, and it's really interesting because when in 2000, I want to say in 2013, I was actually laid off from my job. And so it was the same year there was an event that was happening in another company. Now, I will tell you, I went to the event and um, in the connections that I made at that particular event were, were the catalysts. Honestly, for my business just going crazy, I met actually at that event, one of the top income earners in an opportunity that we got in. This young lady got into an opportunity with me and ended up actually making more money than myself mm. in that particular opportunity because we were, you know, we were in e-commerce. And she had gone the e-commerce route. And I had, an, I had actually two individuals at that, from that, I want to say one of them I met at the event, one of them I met online. And, uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, and, and even the, I had a young man that worked with me and he made more money than I because he went a, di you know, he went a different route. So it was at the event that I made some connections, right, that, you know, really changed, changed my whole life. You know, so wow. it is the it is the conversations, the hallway conversations that you can have. It's the conversation you have after all the presentations, the stage, you know, people have done what they've done because it's only so much time you have on a stage, right? So you got 30 yeah. minutes, 35 minutes, whatever. You can only cram so much stuff in that particular time frame. But once you get, you know, outside of the stage and you're on, you know, in the hallways, you know, at your lunchtime, wherever, then you have more time to really kind of go in depth in you know the different things you want to speak about and then people can ask you questions because usually from the stage you're not going to get questions and stuff so it's just us giving you content but you know when you go to the mixers and different things that are that happen then you can ask specific questions so that you can now you know get an answer to your question right so now you can run you can take that one thing perhaps that you got in the hallway and now run with it and create you know a multi-million dollar business right wow Wow, yeah. isn't that amazing? You can you can um, mentor people that go out and make more money than you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only on the internet. Like I've never, like you know, uh, it's interesting because when I was working in corporate America, I remember that um, the uh, I you know my my boss. I was just like he's just incompetent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but I could never, I would never get paid more than him, even though I had more responsibility than him and everything. 
um, it didn't matter because of the politics, you know, because of political things inside of corporate America, then it was just like, okay, you just can't make more money than him. So he always made, you know, more money than I. So. Wow. Yeah, I, I have experienced that as well. Uh, training people that went on to make like 20000 a month, uh, training people that went on and, uh, and got their speaking career going because of video marketing training that I've shared with them. It's, it's really, it's a, it's a crazy feeling because you don't feel bad, you know, and it's not a jealousy thing because nope. you want, people, you know, you want people that come in contact with you to actually grow, right? Mm -hmm. Thus, yep. the business grows from it, right? We want everybody to come there to get something out of it. All right. So, all right. Keisha, do you have any last words before we let you go? We know you are a busy lady and you got other things to do. So, if you want to share one last thing with this audience, go ahead yeah. and uh, we can close it off. Yeah, I say, you know, get your ticket. Um, you know, definitely get your ticket. And you know, people will say, well, I I can't afford to come. You know what? That is actually a limiting belief that you have. You know, and um, when I went to that event in Chicago, um, Derek, I was, I had just been laid off, right? And everything within me wanted to say, I can't, I, you know, I should just hold on to my money, right? Because I got a severance package. And I was like, you know, I should really just hold on to my severance package and stuff and not go to this event um, because I really, you know, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's, what's next. But, uh, but you know what? If you want to come to the event, then here's what you want to do. First of all, you got to buy a ticket. OK, so before you start to be concerned about oh, how am I going to fly and how am I going to get my airline ticket and how am I get a hotel and all that kind of stuff. We always want to um, focus on things that, you know, are too far ahead. First of all, you need a ticket to get in the door. So before you worry about an airline ticket, before you worry about a hotel, or anything like that, you got to have a ticket to get in the door. <laughs> right. So the first thing to do is to actually buy your ticket. And then when you buy your ticket, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. When you buy your ticket, it now makes you a commitment. Now you're committed. You now you're saying I'm actually going because without a ticket, you're not going. You're just you're saying you're going, but you're not going. So I want you to one, get your ticket today. Go buy your ticket and watch things begin to shift. Because if you really want to go, that's one way to show I really want to go. Things will start to shift and they'll start to line up. Right. So that you can actually be there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So your ticket. So you'll you'll be surprised. Someone may call you on the phone and say, you know what? I got this airline ticket. I got these credits for this airline and I'm not going to be able to use these this year. Perhaps, you know, you can use these. Right. Maybe someone will say, you know what? Something will happen. I just want you to go there with me. Something will happen that will cause those the things to shift and line up so that you can actually be in the room. If that's what you really want to do, if you really want to grow your business, you know, then get to the business growth summit, get around people that are doing what it is that you want to do. If you want to fire your boss, you want to grow, you know, million dollar Amazon business, whatever the case may be, then get to the business growth summit, you know, get to the events. If you live anywhere driving distance from this event, you should definitely just jump in your car. Just jump mm -hmm. in your car and drive. I mean, if I live close enough to drive, then I'm like, okay, I'm driving, but I'm just too far to drive. <laughs> you know? right, like, right. I'm just too far to drive, you know? But if you live anywhere close down there, then, then drive. It's a business. I know my tax girl is on here, and she could just definitely tell you guys more about that. But I'm pretty sure it can go in line with your business expenses as well, investing in yourself, going to events like this. The reason why, Derek, I have to, I have to, go, with, I have to go to events and stuff. I have mm -hmm. to invest in myself, right? You yeah. can't make a whole bunch of money and then just hoard it all. You can't right. do that. You have right. so so start investing in yourself. If you only make five thousand dollars a month, if you make two thousand dollars a month, start investing in yourself. You know, because then when you're making two hundred thousand dollars a month, then you're already accustomed to making those investments in yourself. And you know, so my girl, she'll tell you like she's like you know Keisha, like you've done. <laughs> You definitely buy the courses and you definitely invest in yourself. <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm not telling right. you guys something that I don't do. You know, I hate when people yeah. tell me to go do something. Like, don't tell me to go work out. And you ain't working out. Like, don't tell Hello. me to. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell me to invest in myself and go to events and you ain't going nowhere. We don't never see no pictures of you any anywhere. <laughs> right. So I'm right. not telling you guys stuff, you know, and I'm not telling you guys for ticket sales because, you know, it's not about ticket sales. It's about mm -hmm. changing the your lives. Yes. It's about 
changing the, the you know the the face of your business and the one way i know to do that is to invest in yourself to get to events just like this so you can grow <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, I said that was the last thing, but uh, I got to go back on that. Keisha, tell people how they can um, get in contact with you, how how they can reach out, how they can follow you, um, whatever you got going. Uh, please just just put it out there. Well, I'm always on Facebook. I love you know I love Facebook, so I'm here. If you know if you have any questions, you know definitely um, shoot me a message. My fan page is a better is a better place to connect with me on than my profile and stuff because. Um, but, and then, and then get to the business growth summit. I'm going to be there. I don't have any, you know, whatever Nikki and Parrish and the team, the Neos team want me to do. That's what, you know, that's what I'll be doing. I'm coming there to serve, to serve the people and, you know, share my knowledge. You guys know, I don't, I love to hang out. So it is nothing for me to hang out, you know, and I'll hang out and talk to you guys to one or two in the morning. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so definitely, uh, definitely get to the event. Okay. <laughs> so. All righty. <laughs> so, guys, listen up. listen up, guys. You all know what I'm about to say, right? Like this video, share this video, comment, no excuses. If you want to get a ticket, if you want to buy a ticket so that you can uh, be at the event and hear uh, Miss Keisha Bass live, right? Like to go up and talk to her, take a picture with her, shoot a video with her, you know, you need to be at the event. All right. So, um, go ahead, put no excuses in the comment section. And guys, share this video out. I want this video to go viral. And um, I ain't gonna even gonna lie. I want I want this video to have more views than the Jock T. Morris video. We got a little competition we always going competing. And I want I want this video to go better than that one. All right. <laughs> Me and Jock are always competing. Okay, I'm gonna call him up too and tell him I don't. I know you don't think your video is gonna have more views than mine, boo. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Jock? Jock T. Morris. Atlanta's on, okay? This is Seattle's on. <laughs> so guys, check this out. We want to beat we want to beat those views over there. Go ahead, share this video out. And um like Keisha said, I can't say it no better. You know, purchase a ticket. Everything else will work together. Um all of you Neos members, you know we run contests from time to time. Keisha, we actually got people that actually won um I think was it I think someone won a ticket or won a hotel or something. Um, uh, Nikki gave away. So it's just, you know, just make your attention, your attentions on going and, and actually do it, do something. And um, guys, we'll see you there. All right. So on behalf of Paris, uh, Witherspoon and all of the uh, team Neo leaders, listen, it is absolutely our wish for you that you all be blessed and then go out and be a blessing. Keisha Bath, thank you so much, my sister. I look forward to seeing you in 2018. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs>